I am John Devaney. I am the chair of the Government Affairs Committee of the Yakima Chamber. Welcome. Uh, we have a great turnout of candidates today, and we have quite a few candidates with us today. So we are going to start right on time, and I need to be timekeeper today to make sure we're respectful of all the time. Uh, campaigning is a lot of work, and I don't think this is the only appointment any of you have today. Is it? So we're going to try to get them. Uh, up here to talk as quickly as possible, and that way leave some time for questions at the end. We'll move on to District 4, uh, Tony Sandoval. I like Kelly, actually, I've known Kelly forever. And your mom, actually, too. Uh, I wanted to say because I have notes that I wanted to kind of make sure, you know, my points to be, um, I I'm a, would be able to put my, say my points, and beginning stuttering and all that is happening right now. So basically, uh, who I am, I'm Tony Sandoval, raised in this valley all my life. Uh, got my degree at Yakima Valley Community College, and uh, then on to Washington State University. Back in the day, uh, Yakima Valley Community College had a football team, so it's. That's what drew me to education. I wasn't thinking about college, but um, that's what drew me, and then the rest is history. Went on to Washington State University in Pullman and got my uh, Bachelor of Arts degree there. Um, I want to I wanna kind of, and, and there's a reason I'm kind of giving this scenario that I'm going to do right now. Last year, I ran for Congress, and um, for some reason, um, Unless you're part of a system or grew up with political families, people don't take you serious, they don't believe in you. But, uh, but even my own party threw me under the parade of uh, semis, not under the bus like people said. So uh, technically I was out there by myself. Um, and, and people that know my history know that I've been out by myself for ever since I can remember. So. When I ran for Congress, I did it the old-fashioned way, knock on doors, showed up to every event, just like this. Uh, unfortunately, this year I'm missing some because of work. I've taken on new responsibilities. But let me tell you that if you want something, you get it. And I was able to be competitive with the guys that they, they, uh, they were the favorites. They had me at 12th in the Congressional District. And that goes from Canada to the Columbia River. Um, and I mean, it's, it's all facts. You could Google it. I got it on here. Uh, so let me, let, me, let me give you some points to it where I actually, um, you could call it a miracle, actually. So uh, George Sicotti, who's the attorney bringing on the Republican side, um, he actually was a favorite to go into the race. Uh, that gentleman raised $300,000 I raised four thousand uh, dollars. People laughed at me; uh, they didn't think I could do it. Uh, but get this: in Adams County, I came in fifth and beat George Sicotti. In Benton County, I came in fifth, beat the uh, sitting senator Holmquist. In Douglas County, I came in fourth, beat George Sicotti, and uh, the Estaki Baltran, who the Democratic Party backed. In Franklin County, I came in sixth, and I prevailed over George Sicotti. In Grand County, I came in sixth, beat George Sicotti. In Okanagan County, in Okanagan County, um, now this is where I was trying to get some uh, fans because I literally would go to their barbecues and and everything. Your, and your time's up. Sorry. Did you? Oh. But the, I, everyone's been so timely that I believe they're no, 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 time on my question. So yeah, yeah. I just told me where I did not that can see. Sorry, I'll give a little more time. Can I keep uh, talking to you some more time? The next uh, <laughs> It's our next candidate is Larry Greer. This is also for the fourth district. Hi and good morning. I'm Lawrence Greer. I'm a candidate in the fourth con uh, congressional district, right? Yeah. And uh, I'm I'm running for Yakima City Council. I'm kind of a non-traditional candidate. 
because I like to point out the funny things in life. I'm not near as pretty as Savina and Carmen and Dulcie or Bill. And uh, I'm running on a basis that I'm a up, up, intelligent, but not tight guy. You know, too many of our, our candidates have been tight. You know, I, I sit at the city council meetings and I watch them and they seem to be so tense. I think they should loosen up a little. And that's what I intend to do, is loosen them up a little. So, I'm a 20 year veteran of the United States Air Force. Thank you very much. It was the best 20 years of my life, in spite of the fact that my wife married me after the Air Force, so I have to be careful with that comment. <laughs> so, um, I think the council has made some rather bad mistakes. And I give quality to all the people that are here from the council, <coughs> there and there, and there. <laughs> Not pointing fingers at any individual, but I think collectively they ran off the tracks. So uh, I hope to. Uh... Hi, Mike. How are you doing? Good job with the police department. So uh, I think that I can do a better job. I really do. Because I'm qualified, I keep myself informed. Drives my wife crazy because I turn on CBS News early in the morning. She wants to sleep. So here we go. Let's go out to the polls and vote. Thank you very kindly. Thank you. Our next candidate, also for the fourth district, is Bill Lover. Well, Larry's right. I'm one of them uptight guys. I, uh, well, Larry's correct. I, I'm one of them uptight council And I uh, am so uptight, I uh, managed to write most of mine down because I, I'm going to stay within the three minutes. And, uh, and I'll start with it. Uh, I'm Bill Lover. I lived in Yakima Hall with my wife Cheryl for 34 years. We've been married for 48 years. I have four adult children. I graduated from Yakima Valley Community College and Central Washington University, Air Force NCO Academy, and the Boeing Leadership Management Program. I served 23 years in the military, active duty. I also I also enjoyed a full career with the Boeing Company and retired as a quality assurance manager. I've been a consistent uh, voice against the plaza. Uh, it's too expensive and in my opinion will not deliver the retail and economic gain the city needs. They're not shooting high enough. Uh, let's go to the County Homeless Network. It's a group of almost 40 nonprofits. And they're the mainstay of the homeless services in the city. Uh, the city needs to develop an aggressive legislative agenda with them, with the homeless network. Uh, we've got to get some funding in here. And I believe that's probably the only way. The city has established uh, capital, prior, capital project priorities. Number one and two is a community swimming facility. and a world-class soccer slash sports complex. Uh, I support them as our most important capital gains over the pond. Public safety, I will continue to monitor important skill training and management leadership skills. Uh, we make no secret in the city, or at least in the public safety uh, committee, uh, our goal is to be the best trained, most knowledgeable professional police force in eastern Washington. Patrolman like to say the state, I'm just not there. I'm not that ready yet. Uh, 
Yeah, in short, I'm a no-nonsense, uh, straight-talking, fiscal conservative. I've been that way since I've been on council. My common sense views may not differ from your own. I view things as it would be from our children and our grandchildren's point of view. I want to leave the future, the future generations, a uh, vibrant city with all the opportunities that our great country has to offer. Uh, are you ready to? Your vote and support will be appreciated and will return substantial dividends. Thank you. Candidate uh, Tony Williams, also for running for the fourth district. Uh, thanks for allowing me to be here and to put my name in a hat to represent everybody from Yakima, Washington. The reason why I'm running is, is because I've been equipped with the abilities and the powers and the techniques that I've garnished from this community. We always brag about us being an agricultural community, right? And, and we are one of the best in the world, if not the best. They build great minds too. Being born and raised in Yakima, this is what you're looking at. I'm a product of you, or a product of the people from Yakima, what you've instilled in us through the school districts, through mentorships, and through other programs. YMCA's, I can go on and on and on. So we have to have that faith in what you've instilled in us and allow us to lead because you've got a lot of people that are from Yakima here. So we've got to have confidence in this new regime that's coming through. And we have to set some of the other things aside. But like I said, born and raised here 48 years, born in my district. I'm just proud to be a Yakima citizen. One of the, the main things that I really want to focus on though is my priorities. My priorities are for District 4. This is a district election, so I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure that everything in District 4's needs are met regardless on the lowest end of the spectrum where there's crime and to the upper echelon in that other area that needs the same type of resources that everybody else needs so that there's equity and balance throughout those districts. That's a priority to me. Another priority to me is all of Yakima's youth. That's a public safety issue. But I'm there and I'm committed to the Yakima youth and I'm gonna do everything in my power to work with every one of these council members because it always takes four out of seven votes to get anything done in council. So I'm sure that we'll work all together to make sure that the youth are doing what they need to do to move forward, to help this community to move forward. Uh, another thing that's a priority to me is sustainability and moving our, our city into the 21st century. Recycling, other things like that, solar, those are important things that we need to catch up with. But a key component to it is you guys in leadership. You guys haven't had really the voice when you are the voice. And a lot of times you put your cleats on the, on the shelf, but it's time to take them off because you as business owners, you guys need to direct us as council and to have leverage to come in and talk to us about the things that are important and quality to you. So that's important to me to provide that open door for you to do that. Without me doing that or without any of us doing that, then the city won't run efficiently. So I know you haven't had that in the past, but I want you to observe and check out your vote over the last 30 years and see what you may be able to do different or to get aggressive and get involved in, in local government. Don't just sit back to see what happens. We need you in the game. So that's what I'm gonna do. I, I'm able to facilitate that. And the last thing in the closing statement was, I, I think we all need to learn how to disagree to agree. Because in a council setting, there's gonna be plenty of things that we're not gonna agree with, but then there'll be some things that we will agree with. So we need to go ahead and don't let that be a deal killer, move forward in that. Is that time up or is that 30 seconds? Okay, thank you.